Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I'm going to show you guys what we got from the grocery store. We just got back from Ralph's. We did get this spiral sliced smoked ham, pizza, pasta, coffee pods, chocolate chip cookie dough. I want to try this pasta. This is the pasta sauce. We got chicken, honey, Abuelita's chocolate. I really want to have this. Some grapes. We got a lettuce, some cuties, sour cream, bacon. We got chorizo, some of these um, soups, raspberries, mini donuts. I can eat the whole box. Some jello for Joseph, bananas. We got these peppers for like um, to make, to stuff them with cheese. We got lemons, Roma tomatoes, kiwis. We also got some jalapenos, some lime, an onion. We got asparagus, avocados, apples, oranges. And then these are the uh, meals salmon. We also got some yogurts, tostadas, um, syrup. I love this bread in the morning with butter, pancake mix, some biscuits, tortillas. These are whole, I think these are like wheat. Um, we got some sweet potato, some sharp cheddar cheese, milk, Four pancakes. We got chipotle peppers, jalapenos, and this right here is for when I make um, Jello, petite kosher dill pickles. This is Parmesan cheese for the four cheese ravioli. Um, we also picked up some meats from the deli and some cheese. We got eggs. We also have string cheese, blueberries, sandwich bread, strawberries. Those are all the things that we picked up from the market. Now it's time to put it all away. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing lately. Um, I did purchase these containers from Costco. These are the Elo brand. Um, when I buy berries, I started putting them into these containers and they just last longer. So I'm going to put strawberries raspberries and then blueberries in the container here we have raspberries blueberries and strawberries i did wash them before i put them into the containers now i'm going to just put them in the refrigerator and the kids can just grab as they as they want them um, i also like to keep this in my refrigerator and i'll put the eggs inside the little basket and just store it in the refrigerator it's just that much easier for us and it just goes in the refrigerator nice and neat whenever you need it you just pull it out okay so this is what it looks like it's pretty packed in here um we are looking for a new refrigerator so if you guys have any recommendations leave them in the comments down below we'd really appreciate it i'm just gonna go and look look through my little jewelry box so this jewelry box i did pick up from home goods um i don't know it was like uh i think it was like 19.99 and these are just i used to keep them in these little mesh bags well they're still they still are in the mesh bags but they used to just be like in my drawer and then yeah so i have all my necklaces this one here i love it it's so pretty it's um from the origami owl i just started purchasing and creating your own jewelry the way you want it so the three colors are my daughter, my son, and my birthstone. Butterflies, because I love butterflies. A rose. Little crystal. So it's a very, it's, this one is a long chain. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? This is one of the first pieces from the origami owl that I, that was given to me from Jose when I had my son Joseph. He gave this to me because right after I had him, it was Mother's Day. He was, he was born May 6th and then 
Mother's Day. So there's his little blue feet, a butterfly. So these are all the little charms that Jose picked out that he felt represented me. It's really pretty. Um, my daughter, there's a little girl charm in there too for my daughter. Um, what else do we have here? And then this is another one that I used to wear with my um, work badge. So this is all, everything that represents like teacher. There's books, there's an apple, there's a pencil, there's a little um, easel, there's a car, coffee, pizza. Um, there's a bunch of things in here that I, I um, picked out that represented my teacher life because I was a teacher. Well, I still am, but at the moment, I'm just at home with my kids. Um, and then, this one's pretty. Um, this one I got, let's see, I got for Valentine's Day. I think I um, put together a little love wrap. It's like a, it wraps around your, your, your wrist. So it has my initial, Jose's initial. It has a lock and key, an infinity sign, a heart. So this I like to wear like for Valentine's Day. It's really pretty. Um, what else? What else from Origami Owl? Okay, this one is also from Origami Owl. There's a little wrap bracelet too. Let's see. Let's see if I can take it out. So this one also wraps around your wrist a couple, like two times. And then inside it just says strength comes from within. It's really pretty. Really pretty little pieces to wear. And then this one is also from Origami Owl. So this one is just like the color of my birthstone. A few little stones in there. Um, my little bracelet. My necklace that has my name. Another necklace that has butterflies on. My ring, oh, this ring is also from Origami Owl. I like this one. This one's so pretty. Let's see. Let me show you guys. This one is just has a cross, it has my son and my daughter's birthstone, it has a charm that says faith, another one that says that's a heart. So this one's so pretty, I love it. And then what else do we have here? Oh, some bracelets. So I have these bracelets. Um and that's it. Pretty much this is all the jewelry that I have left. Um, after separating other jewelry, the jewelry that I used to. And then in here is just like my little, 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 little tiny diamond earrings that I got for Valentine's Day. These are so tiny, but so cute. Um, I got these for Valentine's Day. And then some, um, some white gold earrings. Some rose gold earrings that were in here somewhere. I don't know where they went. They should be in here. Probably in a little mesh bag somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's my jewelry. A lot of the pieces are from Origami. Oh, here they are. Look. These are, there's a rose gold and then there's a gold. This was a trio set that my dad gave me for my, for my birthday. I think this is from K Jewelers. Really pretty. I also ended up taking my perfumes out of the box that I had them in and I put them onto this little, um, perfume tray. I also picked this one up at Home Goods. It's really, really pretty. I like it. It goes with my whole vibe in my room bedroom and i think i'm gonna i think i'm going to i don't know do my put on some nails i did have the last set on for a couple of days now which like i mentioned before i like to switch them out i don't like to keep them on but i haven't had nails on for maybe two days now and i will be using these i found these in my drawer so i'll use this color instead i mean it's not so much christmasy but it looks nice. So I like using the nails that do have the glue. Um, the nails that have the ad adhesive in the back. I mean, they last, but these last a little longer because you can you can use the glue to seal tight like every little edge. Um, that way, water doesn't go inside. But this is the brand that I like to use, the Kiss brand. Okay, so so far this is what the nails look like. I have my right hand to do and I'll be right back. Done. I already put on both hands and this is what they look like. 
Now all I do is just file them a little bit because at the tip of each nail there is like a little piece of the nail. So I'll just file and now I have myself a fresh new set of nails. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18! Okay, so I'm making pancakes. This is what I use to make pancakes, just so that way I can make more than two. So this is what the pancakes look like. I do add a little bit of the ground cinnamon to get a little flavor. I am making eggs and bacon too. Okay, so once the pasta is boiled, I add it to a, I add it to another pan, and then what I do next is add some lemon zest, which is right here. That's what it looks like with the lemon zest, and then next I'm going to add some lemon juice and then Parmesan cheese. Then I'll squeeze in the juice from one lemon. Then I'm going to add the um, asparagus. I did put them in the oven. I'm going to add the asparagus into the pasta. This is called asparagus and lemon pasta. So the pasta that I used is this one here. This is the pasta that I used. Okay. So this is what it looks like with the asparagus in the pasta. Next, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is grated. It's gonna go inside here with a little bit of the water from when I boiled the pasta. Okay, so this is what the pasta looks like. I did add more Parmesan cheese. Well, actually, Jayla did. But this is what it looks like. And it's so good. It's lemony. It's delicious. I'm gonna let Joseph taste, be my taste tester. Okay. So it's a liquidy. I give you a 10 out of 10. Okay. So I'll give you an A. Did you like? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Cheese. You know when there's a brown bag on your counter next to your coffee pot, it's going to be pan dulce. It's going to be bread. Let's see if we got my favorite bread in here. Um, my dad's so cute. He went out and got us some bread. So this one is for the win. Yum. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Okay, you guys. So I am going to put on a little bit of makeup this morning. Um, well, I don't think it's morning anymore. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it is 12.01. So I already put on foundation. I prepped my face using the Hangover. This is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. And I also um, wet my sponge using the Hangover Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I like to spray my sponge with any type of water primer. And so that's what I used to prep my skin before I put on foundation. And this is the foundation that I use. Born this way, I am in the color warm beige. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows using the powder. I like, it gives me a more natural look. And then I'll also use the Benefit brush. Okay, so for mascara, I will be using this one by IT. It is a collab that they did with Lash the Blowout. So it's called IT Lash Blowout. Okay, so for highlight, I will be using this one. It's also by IT called hello light and this one is in the color radiance what I like about this product is that it's for anti-aging so the powder doesn't seep into the fine lines that I have around my eyes right on top of it so that's what I like and for highlight brush I've been using Elf cosmetics and this one is so very light like it just barely feels like anything when you're applying the highlighter I love it for blush, I will be using this product here. It is by IT. It's called Bye Bye Pores Blush. And also what I like about this product is that it just basically gives you like a poreless finish. And it doesn't seep into the pores. And this one is in the color Naturally Pretty. What the color looks like. 
I'm going to change into this outfit here. I did get this for Christmas maybe, a, I think a year ago. Um, so I'm going to change into this outfit with these leggings. I haven't even taken the tags off anything because I've never worn it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to change and then I'll see you guys as soon as I change. Okay, so here are the leggings and then the shoes that I'm wearing to go with the outfit that I showed you guys. I also got these for Christmas last year and I never wore them. But so comfy and cozy. So this is what my makeup looks like. I did use a few IT um, products. I love them. They are great for that anti-aging um, you know, concern of mine. So yeah, this is what my makeup looks like. So now I'm going to, I'm in my kitchen. I'm going to prep for dinner. This does take a little bit of prep time only because I'm gonna get started. That way I can include it in this video and you guys can see what I eat for dinner. So let's get started. Okay, so here are all the ingredients. These are the poblano peppers. I do roast these, and, but I don't chop these. So everything on the cutting board I am going to chop. The jalapenos, serranos, roma tomato, and the white onion, I will chop. Tomatoes, onions, jalapeno peppers, and then these I will roast in a little bit, but this is so far what I have. Um, now what I'm going to do in a pan, I'm going to heat up some oil and I'm, I will be adding all of these ingredients into the pan. Okay, so I put everything inside the pot. I have, I have the flame on medium low. So I'll just let these flavor simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and then I'll show you guys once I prepare the next step. Okay, so it's simmering away. I did add a jalapeno, a whole jalapeno with the seeds and a half of a serrano pepper just so that way, ooh, it's fogging up, just so that way it can give it a little bit more spice. Okay, so once this is all soft and tender I will be adding the liquid so I just add water and just so it can give it a more thick consistency I do add tomato paste so I'll show you guys that right now so after adding the tomato paste I will add in some water I usually just do four cups of water and then let that cook and then obviously taste as you go and if you need more seasoning you can use any type of seasoning you want to use I just use pretty much salt, so I'm going to let that cook, let the flavors marry together, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything is in the pot, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to deseed the poblano peppers before I put them to char, so that's what I'm doing here. I just cut off the top and then take out the seeds, clean them all up, and then I'll show you guys what I do next. I just, just deseeded the peppers. They're all nice and seedless. And I'm going to put them in the broiler for about maybe 20 minutes and I'll show you guys what they look like after. There's a lot of different ways that people do this. This is just what works for me and my family. We love it this way and it tastes so good. This is what they look like in the oven on broil. So I'm going to take them out and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next. Okay, so once the chilies are roasted, I place them into this plastic bag just so they can help sweat, which helps loosen the skin to make it easier to peel. Since I peeled all the skin off, I will put cheese and then place it into this bowl. the way I make them. I don't put the egg. These are eggless. And then all I'll do next is just add some of the broth that I made with all the... I'm just kind of 
fill it up. What I need to do is put them in the oven so they can, so the cheese can melt faster. Okay, so I just took them out of the oven. They're, the cheese is nice and gooey, and that means it's ready to eat. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20! Good morning and I just welcomed you guys to Vlogmas Day 20. I made breakfast which I show, I'll show you in a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna get started with my day. I'll probably put in a little bit of makeup and get started with my day. Come along with me. So I'm making a salsa using the molcajete. I'm going to just mash the serrano peppers and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Roma tomato. I roasted them and now I'm just going to finish off the salsa and I'll show you what it looks like after. So the molcajete salsa is ready. This is what it looks like and we're going to have this with our breakfast and I'll show you guys in a minute. So I have the potatoes and the chorizo cooking. Egg whites are in. Okay, so this is what breakfast looks like. Queso fresco, avocado, chorizo and egg, tortilla, and salsa. Just got back from Seven Leaves. I got a Thai tea. I didn't want to shake it up so I can show you guys. So here's like the all the milk on top and then the um, Thai tea is down here. So once you shake it up, you get that pretty orange color. I did get some boba. <laughs> Easy boba. So good. So Joseph and I are going to start wrapping some gifts. Um, and let's go to my car to go bring all that stuff in. Watch out. Okay. Going to light the candles, get a little cozy so we can start wrapping some of the gifts we have. Did want to come on here and just kind of take a break from wrapping and just ask you guys about your Christmas shopping. Have you started? Do you do Christmas shopping? But um, I'm going to take a break. My back is hurting. Joseph was helping me a lot, huh? But what about what the one in the musty? I know. We have to go get all those toys. We'll go get them right now, okay? Okay, okay so now I'm going to show you guys the wrapping paper that I used. We all use different... Um, wrapping paper just to distinguish between whose is whose. This is the one that just says Merry Christmas. I have this one here, this print, and then this print is so cute. Those are the colors that I used. And then for the kids, I did a little bit more fun and I used like snowman, Santa Claus. So I'll show you a bit. So, so far, this is what I have. Okay, so my sister went to pick up some food from this place called 51 Chinese Kitchen. So we're gonna open this all up and see what it is. This will be my first time trying this food. What is this? Tashu Bao. It's um, doughy uh, barbecue pork. Okay. Those are just spicy green beans. This is the same. Same. And then and this chicken dumplings. And this is the little dipping sauce. And this is the chili sauce. This is really is that good. Your favorite? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try all this food. <laughs> They're really garlicky. Sorry. Okay. Right. Oh, nice. I think, I think you like this one. Well, if you put that on there. <coughs> what do you oh, look, they gave this? us chopsticks. <coughs> what do you put on this? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, you know, they gave us forks too. So many forks. One. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is how I eat it. You guys might want to try it your own way. Is there a spoon in the one that gave us? Mm-hmm. Mm. So this is my plate here. I'm trying a little.
little bit of everything. Oh, and then these guys. Is Can this you spicy? Is this spicy? Yeah. yeah. That's very bueno. Okay, well. Just I like bit. spicy. Okay, thank you. And then that just a little bit? Where? I mean, you want to try it on just this? like that. Yeah, I put it on the dumpling, but I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat the dumpling. Why? If you guys like it, you guys can have it. Oh, and you could get one, girl. Okay. So you don't want to go to this place only on Sundays because mm. they have off everything. That's it's good. good. They're mm. slippery little suckers. <laughs> oh, man. No and they're actually good. Yeah? This one's okay. When are you gonna mm -mm -mm. drop the bread in? A little bit. The dumpling was good. So let's try this. Huh? What do you need? Nothing. I'm scared to try that. Maybe I should have tried it with all the spices stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's a... You're an empty one right there. The green beans are good. Mommy, come yeah. on, let's go. Oh, it's good. This is like that place I was telling you about. The one that I wanted to try. Okay, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will be ending the vlogs here. Um, I'm not sure if I ended the other vlogs from the other days, but I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy watching my videos. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, Bye. like this video, and I want to thank you guys so much for fluttering. Bye! Until next time, bye!